Hi, this is Leanne from NMA TV. So America's debt is out of control. America's debt is out of control. Fourteen point three trillion dollars. You know how many zeros that is? That's over forty-five grand for every man, woman, and child in the U.S. If I had forty-five grand to spend, I'd get me one of these. You know what else? Taiwan owns one hundred fifty billion dollars of U.S. debt. Where's our money? You trying to get out of paying? I'm coming to collect. You see me coming. Be afraid. In the meantime, watch this video. Washington saddles Americans with more debt. The United States has maxed out its credit card. The country's debt now stands at a whopping 14 trillion U.S. dollars. Your share of it comes 45,300 U.S. dollars. That is how much the U.S. owes for every man, woman, and child alive in the United States today. Yet Congress is preparing to raise a debt ceiling. Naturally, there will be a lot of finger pointing about who is responsible for creating this mess. Let's see. In George Bush's second term, the debt grew from 7.6 trillion to 10.6 trillion dollars. Barack Obama made it worse, increasing the debt further to 14 trillion today. In 2006, the Democrats preached fiscal responsibility while the Republicans voted for higher debt ceilings. Now those roles are reversed. Ironically, in 2006, Senator Obama spoke in harsh terms against raising the debt ceiling. The fact that we are here today to debate America's raising debt limit is a sign of leadership failure. It is a sign that the U.S. government can't pay its own bills. It is a sign that we now depend on ongoing financial assistance from foreign countries to finance the government's reckless fiscal policies. It is little wonder that 71% of public opposes raising the debt ceiling. How will the debt ever be repaid? Get animated. Find out more on Facebook.